This is a phone running Windows 11. It's not a joke, it's not clickbait. This is actually full-fledged Windows 11 Pro running on a smartphone. Let me show you. So here's the phone and I can hit the power button and as you can see, it's the Windows 11 lock screen. I can just swipe up to unlock into the password and here it is, the Windows 11 desktop with the Windows 11 wallpaper, the start menu, the taskbar, the apps. This is full-fledged Windows 11. I mean, as you can see in the about page in the settings, this is actually Windows 11 Pro inside a preview. I know what you're thinking. How did we get Windows 11 running on a smartphone? Well, all the credit goes to Project Renegade. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Now, this project brings Windows 11 to a bunch of smartphones powered by the Snapdragon 845 and the Snapdragon 835. The best compatibility is with the OnePlus 60, the OnePlus 6, the Mi Mix 2S and the Poco F1. I mean, obviously. Now, we are running Windows 11 on the OnePlus 60. So, how is it running on a smartphone that's practically fairly old? Well, surprisingly, Windows 11 works really well on a phone. First of all, Windows 11 here supports the basic features, the hardware, the buttons of the phone. See, I showed you how the device wakes up with the power button and I can also press hold on the power button to get the slide to shut down option. That's all, even the volumes button work, Wi-Fi is also working and so is Bluetooth. In fact, we connected some Bluetooth headsets from the Windows settings like you would on a PC. Now you can use Windows in portrait or you can use it in landscape, but I prefer using it in landscape because it's just better that way for Windows. Other options like brightness, features like night light, they all work. A couple of things don't work, the speakers and camera, but hey, it's still amazing how most things work in this phone. Now hit like if you think this is awesome. Now what's cool though is that all the Windows 11 features actually work in this phone. As you can see, I'm using the start menu and it's working fine. I can search for files and folders. There's the widgets page here. The task switch also shows you the apps and desktops you've opened. There's also the calendar and notifications here. And there are these different toggles for brightness, volume, etc. Apps also work fine, be it the native Windows apps like Calendar or Clock, and even the traditional apps like File Explorer. As you can see, it shows me the two partitions and all the files. Now, third party apps also run fine. I have Chrome installed, and I can even open the Microsoft Store and download an app, say Netflix, and it works just right. Compatibility is great too. Accessories worked flawlessly with the USB-C hub. I connected a mouse and a keyboard and it all worked out like a normal PC setup. There's no lag using the mouse or typing with the keyboard. It's actually all great. Anyway, Windows 11 actually works well with touch as you must have noticed. I mean, suppose the Windows 11 gestures to switch apps, open up the task switcher screen. We're also able to drag and drop files between apps, snap multiple windows side by side, just like you would on a desktop. Basically, almost everything works with touch. I say almost because the right click does not work with the touch gesture and the on-screen keyboard does not show up automatically at all the times. See, the keyboard shows up in the Windows lock screen automatically so you can enter the password or pin, but in other places it does not. So you have to open up the on-screen keyboard app manually or, you know, use a keyboard. See, I was kind of expecting Windows to lag on this phone. I mean, it's Windows and this is a phone. Full-fledged Windows is known to be heavy, but surprise, surprise, Windows is actually usable on this phone. In fact, it's more than usable. I mean, you've already seen Windows 11 in action on this phone and there is no lag whatsoever with any Windows animations, be it while navigating the UI or apps or, you know, just going about the normal usage. Like I said, we have Chrome installed and it works well even with a number of tabs open. Videos play fine too. 1080p videos in YouTube is no problem, as you can see. Now, when playing 4K videos, the CPU usage hits 100% and things get laggy, but yeah, it's overall pretty good. Now, for testing purposes, we ran a couple of benchmarks like Geekbench, Crystal Diskmark, and you know what? They worked fine on the phone. Now, I know the scores don't matter, but the Geekbench single score was equivalent to a 5th gen Core i3. The multi core score is equivalent to a 7th gen Core i3. Look, if you were to ask me, the Windows performance on this phone is actually a lot better when compared to old budget Windows laptops I've used in the past. And this is all the more impressive because this is a phone that's dual booting Windows and Android. I showed you the two partitions here and one partition has Windows and one partition has Android. And you can switch between these OSs by going to the bootloader and selecting the other partition of the OS. Now it's Windows, so we obviously had to try some games. So we intentionally downloaded a few low-end and mid-end games so the phone could handle it. We tried Portal 1 and Half-Life 2 and the FPS in both these games were around 40 to 60 in high settings at 1080p resolution. I know these are older games, but imagine playing PC games on your phone. I mean, relatively new games like CSGO started between 20 to 30 FPS and then stopped working altogether. But it would have been interesting to try new PC games on a new, more powerful smartphone. I say this whole Windows 11 experience has its issues. 
Some UI elements become too small on the smaller screen. Some UI elements get cut off in the corners. But you know what? I was amazed at how well Windows 11 runs on a phone, which is practically four years old. You know what? This makes me think what could have been if we had a full-fledged Windows OS for phones. I mean, Windows Phone had its advantages. The UI was definitely ahead of its time. I really liked it, but it did not manage to win people because it wasn't full-fledged Windows. It was a different Windows version with a different app store and lack of app support is what killed it. Now imagine if Microsoft had not created a separate phone OS, rather ported full-fledged Windows to phones and just optimized it for the smaller screen. Just imagine Windows 11 with its better UI and better store on a smartphone. Windows 11 on phones and PCs would have had the same app, same store and some really cool connected features. It would have been a proper ecosystem that could rival Apple. I mean, if this would have happened, we would have an option today other than Apple. I mean, right now, Apple is the monopoly if you want a true ecosystem experience. The Android plus Windows experience isn't the same because it's two different OSs made by two different companies. I know it's all wishful thinking, but maybe Microsoft can do something like this in the future. I know they have had bad experiences with Windows Mobile and then Windows Phone, but maybe. You know, never say never. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Windows 11 experience on a phone? Do you want Microsoft to bring full-fledged Windows 11 on a phone? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like. Make sure to share it around and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Your Windows laptop can't do this. This is universal control which lets you control...